that's it that's the end of the day we're all moored up right by the electric uh, lift bridge at Rembury so we're just going to walk into the town now well into the village really there's not a lot there a couple of pubs and in fact you can see the bridge is just lifting now and whether you can see it there the bridge lifting there's a boat just going through so uh, we're all set for the night now uh, nice steady day tomorrow um, great day had a brilliant day um, more demons done so it was really good and I think Leone's enjoyed a little three-day cruise I think have you uh, have you enjoyed yourself yes thank you yes thank you she says pretty lady likes it in there playing on her phone look see? Yeah. but it's been good it's been a good cruise have you enjoyed it today Hillary I've enjoyed it as well Gary I'm ready for my lunch and a nice hot shower oh you never mentioned wine well, that's automatic, Gary. Oh, okay, that's all right. See, see, Hillary's a true boater. So tomorrow's another day. Let's see what that brings. Now, if you can hear heavy breathing, uh, it's not me. Could be me. It could be. Well, I think it's a dog. Tom and oh, Ethel hey. and Ethel. Ethel's <laughs> <laughs> Ethel's very very lively. Yeah, we just moored up and we were just having a chat. And Tom came with Ethel off narrowboat or oh, pottering on the canal rather. Uh, I've followed them for ages. Have a look at their channel. I'll put a link below to their channel. But we're just walking down to the we're boat now. We're not as popular as him. No, you're very, very good. Trust me. Watch <laughs> them. Watch them. Pottering on the canal. They're very good. And they owe me a mug. So I'm walking miles to go and get my mug. No, but seriously, we're walking up now to their boat. Going to go and see John, uh, Tom's husband, and have a bit of a chat. It'd be lovely to have a catch-up. Say, they've got a lovely little channel. Please have a look at it. Look at their lovely boat. Pottering on the canal. This is all hand painted, by the way. All of it. Look at that. It's a cracking boat. And they're great fellas. But I've come up here because I finally met John. And he's got, look what he's got in his hand there. It's a box. It's a box. He's going to give me an empty box. I can't give you an empty box because I can't get any closer what's, to what's you. What's an No, we're only like one metre apart. <laughs> Gary? Yeah. It's a pleasure to do this. <laughs> yeah. It's like lifting out the box. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you I'm going to lift you. Are you ready? I've only been waiting how long for this? Eight months for this. I think so. Look at that. It's one of a limited edition. It's one of a limited edition. Because nobody wants. <laughs> Look at that. So that's going to have pride of place and chugs. I'm going to have my morning coffee in that. You watch, I will have my morning coffee in that. So it's great to meet. Now, put have a look at their the channel. Yeah, I'll put it back because I'll drop the bloody thing. He's only got about another 300 of them on board, so it's all right. You make good ballast. Yeah. <laughs> so check their channel out. It's John and Tom and Ethel. Yay! Ethel, now what? Go on, you'll have to say the name well, of Ethel. Well, if you just search. Oh, what, the boat? Or no, Ethel, what's her name? Properly. It's Ethel, but what it's do you Ethel. call her? Oh, Nobed. Nobed, there you go. So, Nobed. <laughs> So I didn't say that, he did. But we, check the channel. Can I just say, we've been we've been stopped by somebody who was under a bridge, and, uh, just a bit further down the canal, and somebody came running out and said, is that not bad? Oh. <laughs> I hope they were talking to the dog, and not Tom. They were, they were, yeah. They were, yeah. <laughs> so check out their channel. Um, we're going to go and get some tea in a bit, so I'm expecting um, the girls to walk up, and I'm expecting to see Chip and Dale walking up in a minute. Um, and we're going to go for some tea and then it's an early night for me. Uh, Leonie's getting picked up by a friend uh, later on this afternoon, so I'll be sad to see her go. She's been a bloody good crewmate. But listen, if you remember James on that came to help me on the Audlin flight when I was with Malcolm, he's coming. He phoned me up this, uh, earlier on, so he's coming to join me to help with the lift and swing bridges. So it'll be a good day tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, definitely a nip in the air this morning very ooh, sharp but it's nice and it's dry and it's not too windy it's Friday September the 11th and of course when I got up this morning my first thoughts were for the poor souls that we lost over in New York always remember them on this day I haven't had my breakfast. I've had a couple of coffees, but I haven't had my breakfast yet. I'm taking the dogs for an early walk. 
because if you remember the Audlum flight when I was with Malcolm coming back from uh, Orderly Junction, I had a lovely fella, subscriber called James, come to help me. Well, guess what? He's coming for a ride today, uh, just to help us with the lift bridges and the swing bridges that we've got today. Um, yeah, hopefully we're heading towards Grindley Brook today. I don't think we're doing the flight. I don't know. I don't mind if we do, because it's nice moorings above uh, above Weir Church. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I'm not bothered. But uh, the Ponty is getting ever so near now. Uh, I've still got a few days to go. Um, I say I think either Sunday or Monday we're looking at doing the Ponty. But if it's Tuesday, who cares? Made the mistake of saying the electric bridge was up here. Noticed last night when we were walking, it isn't. It's our first little lift bridge. And the electric bridge is, uh, is just around the corner. Nice to meet uh, Tom and John last night from uh, Pottering on the Canal. As I say, I'll put a link uh, below. Had a nice cup of coffee this morning out of your coffee mug. So thanks, lads. That was really good. Uh, yeah, really nice to meet them. I've uh, watched their vlog for some time now. And uh, they are themselves. And that's what I like uh, about vlogging. And when you actually meet people, fellow vloggers, when you actually meet them and they're the same in real life, that says a lot about a person. And uh, yeah, they're great. Have a look. You'll enjoy them. Well, just walking back to the boat and there's James. He's putting his electric bike, very posh bike, in uh, Hillary's well deck uh, for the journey. I've got no room in mine. So he's just turned up. So you remember James from Audlum? He helped us out. So we're going to see if we can kill him today with, uh, with bridges. Bridges today. Uh, I think we're going to moor up just short of Grinley Brook Locks. Uh, and we'll tackle them early doors early in the morning. And James very kindly brought me a lovely bottle of Merlot. You can see it down there. I won't be having that yet. A cup of coffee time. So that's it. We're on our way. It's uh, nearly 25 past nine. So uh, I'm going to moor up in a little bit once I go through the bridge. Unfortunately, me, uh, Chugs was just drifting out. So I'm, I was getting in the way of Hillary. So uh, Hillary was supposed to be second. But now I am. Tom's here, see, Tom's pulling it in. Who needs a shire horse when you've got a Tom? No, you're going to be saying I'm using the wrong technique and everything. No, you're doing it right. Look, look, at, the way, look at the way you're doing it. Yeah, right. There we go, see. We don't need a shire horse and we don't need a tree. We don't need a bollard because every boat should have a Tom. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the electric lift bridge. Sarah's done the bridge for us. See Martin going through, then Hillary, and then James and myself on chugs. James is on the tiller, so I'm going in the boat because I tell you what, that wind's a bit sharp. So I'm coming in the boat. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to make a cuppa for us. We're going to have a brew. I've never been sort of inside when we're moving. This is funny. This is weird. Wee, really weird. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a brew for us. Um, going to have a nice cup of coffee. And I've got to say, um, talking to uh, James there, and he said that his mum, Barbara, watches the vlog. So I'm going to say a quick hello to you, Barbara, if you're watching this. He nearly crashed my boat before, you know, look. That's our first lock, Marbury Lock, is just there. So you can see Chugs is moored up. So uh, James is up there setting it and helping uh, another boat. In fact, I think I'm going in now. So the sun's just coming up, it's nice. Uh, we've just done Marbury Lock. Uh, I think we've got three more locks uh, to go. I don't know whether we're gonna call in at the pub at Willie Moor Lock. Uh, I remember going there, oh, it must be 12 months ago, something like that, maybe a little bit more. And we sat down at 20 to three and we wanted to order a meal. And unfortunately the landlady said, I'm sorry, we close at three. Uh, she keeps to the old pub hours, but it's a quaint little pub, absolutely fantastic little boozer. So it might be nice just to call in and have a quick pint there. So we're just at Coisley Lock now. Unusual name, Coisley. Hillary's uh, going to bring her boat in, Elsie Alice. Unusual name. Coisley, Coisley, never mind, very nice area, very busy road at the side of it, I think it's the A49, God I'm loving this. We 
we are, Willie Mall Lock. Got a lovely pub uh, just up here, as I say. Pretty tricky to get in this lock. Heck of a by wash coming in. That made it entertaining. There's young James. Finally safely in the lock. There's the first little glimpse of the pub just above. It does feel weird coming back here again. Um, another demon, I suppose. But uh, I suppose I'm still going to have quite a few of them. But I can cope with them getting easier every day. James, that last year when uh, I visited that pub, I sort of promised myself, like, oh, I can't wait to bring my own boat up here and have a pint. Cheers. So uh, we're having one. He ran into the pub and he's come to the boat with a couple of pints. So we're having a quick pint and then we'll get cracking. So we'll raise a glass to Barbara, James's mum. Hello, mum. Well, just coming up to Povey Lock. That pint was really nice. Might have another one on the way back. Uh, I've just dropped James off. There he goes. And the lock is in our favour because uh, a higher boat's just come out of there and they've left the gates open. So uh, happy days. It's the, the first lock I've actually had uh, a free run into, so that's good. Last lock of the day, I think. Uh, even though it's early enough to tackle Gringley Brook, you know, and the lockies are on, I'm, I'm quite tempted to carry on. You alright boys? Alright? Yeah. No, I don't have to. I do like to get off the boat in the lock because uh, you only get one perspective if you're stuck on the boat. So uh, I always try to, to get off or walk up to the lock beforehand um, just to have a look at it. Get a different feel for it. A different perspective. Get me. <laughs> oh magical just been talking to Steve off Amy Joe as well he might be coming up uh, one day just to come and say hello obviously in the car so it'll be lovely to see uh, to see Steve and Chris so far it's been magical got some lovely friends that are coming over to see me all the time so it's making the trip a lot more bearable and a lot more enjoyable fantastic not even thinking about the other thing which is great because quite frankly it's not worth thinking about done. So just got to the base of Grinley Brook staircase locks. Let's take a look at this bridge. Remember this bridge uh, from when we used to camp at the bottom of this, uh, just under the bridge, there, there's a campsite, Lockside Calf, uh, Lockside um, at Grinley Brook. And we used to camp here and Sandy and I used to walk down here quite a bit, but the brickwork is absolutely fantastic. It's a beautiful area, beautiful part of the world. Happy memories of here, and there's the campsite that we used to go to, and uh, Joe and Brian, some friends of mine, are actually camped there now. They've just got there not long ago, so uh, might meet up with them later, and uh, I think some other friends, Dave and Dawn, are coming down to meet up with them there, I believe so. As Dave phoned me earlier, so just having a walk up to the locks, beautiful. Down from the flight at Grinley Brook, I'm going to go up in a minute, James is going to give me a shout and I've just met Paul and Amanda. Hello! Hello! Some viewers of the channel, uh, they actually live on their boat, Navarone, so they're following us up. So who knows, we'll probably share a gin and tonic guys, won't we? Definitely. I imagine so. When I get some tonic, I'm going to Aldi tomorrow, because <laughs> I've run out of tonic. <laughs> but I've got plenty of coke, you can have coke. Yeah, you yeah. could do that. Vodka and coke, we'll have yeah, vodka we'll and coke, that. but we'll get there. Yeah. So we're all going to tackle the flight, they're tackling the flight tomorrow, and spookily enough, They've got friends staying on the campsite, same as me tonight, so uh, it could be a party tonight.
So I'm in the second lock of Grindley Brook. Um, there's one more just above this and then we hit the flight, the actual staircase itself. Uh, and there's one locky on, so uh, that'll make life a lot easier, especially for young... Uh, we got him. James, young, young James there. He's been working hard today, fair dues. Lifting bridges, all sorts. Into the third lock now before the flight, and I've got something around my prop. Uh, it's making a heck of a noise when I put it in reverse, so uh, by the time I moor up and get to the top of this flight, I'm going to be in the weed hatch. Uh, have a look what's around that prop. Oh no. There's Chugs coming up uh, Grinley Brook lock flight. We're actually on the main staircase now by the calf. Uh, and I can honestly say I thought I'd be a quivering bloody ball of jelly because uh, people know how emotional I am and I look back at things. I haven't given it a thought, not one thought at all. It's all about the future and me for a change. It's Grindley done. On the way we go now, gate's just opening. So we're going to use the service area just at the top here and top up with water. Happy days. Goes James on his electric bike. He's cheating. I've just had a go on it. It's fantastic, but I have thanked him. He's been brilliant today. So uh, I've topped up the water and emptied the loo. Um, the service area of Grinley Brook is beautiful, lovely and clean, which is good. And there's, there's a few water points up and down here. I've just used that one down there. So I'm topped up. Let's go and see if I can find a mooring for the night. That's it. Moored up just through Grindley Brook Lock Flight. Uh, we just moored up there on the right hand side. Very, very familiar towpath for me. Um, I really did think I'd be an emotional wreck doing this little bit because it's a place that I've walked with a certain someone quite a bit. And you know what? I didn't give a monkeys. Didn't give a monkeys. Just try and remember the bad times, not just the good times. And yeah, yeah, things are looking up. Times are changing on Chuggerbug, definitely. Definitely. And I don't have to go in the weed hatch either. Um, the prop cleared itself, so it looks like I'm getting rid of the dirt in all directions. Alexa, good night. Good night. Sleep well. Good morning. Saturday the 12th. It's absolutely beautiful. We're moored up just up from Grinley Brook uh, Lock Flight. Uh, came through there yesterday. We're having a day off today. We're just chilling today. So we're gonna have a barbecue. My friend Kim I think is joining me later on this afternoon. So uh, the kettle's on. It's gonna be a lovely day. Well, it really is a nice day. Uh, me and the girls are just walking to Aldi. So I'm on the Whitchurch arm at the moment. I don't know whether you can see that. It's, uh, it's a place I've walked many a time. Um, I've never been to the, well I have been to the Aldi here actually, but uh, never walked a bit off the canal. This is nice. Well, we set off about five minutes ago. We're just coming to the first lift bridge now and I believe Fran and Rich are there. So I'm hoping they've got their windlass with them and they're gonna put the bridge up for us, which would be nice. Beautiful day. And Rich, they've got the bridge up for us this morning. Good morning, folks. How are you? Yeah. Good. First bridge of many this morning. That sounds lovely. Well, so far it's a lovely cruise today. A uh, little bit windy, but uh, and we're starting to notice the flow of the canal a bit. Because obviously, you probably know, the Llangothlin Canal is fed by uh, the River Dee up at Llangothlin, uh, off the Horseshoe Falls. 
So the nearer we get to Llangollen, the more of a flow we're getting. So uh, yeah, the engine's on a little bit more higher revs than I would normally. But this is absolutely glorious. Beautiful.